I'm Marigo, and today I'm gonna show you how to use the new scale mode in Ableton Live 12. All right, so with the release of Ableton Live 12, we now have something called scale mode. So you'll notice this little um, scale section up top. So this purple button here is just how we engage it. So it can be off or on, and then we can select any of the note values here and any of our many scale options in the second drop down menu. So we're gonna take a look at a variety of ways to make use of this new feature. We're gonna get started with a basic keyboard sound here. And I'm just gonna record in a clip. All right, let's double click on the clip and we can take a look at um, the MIDI notes I recorded. So over here in the clip tab, you'll see a scale section as well, um, where it will just mirror whatever you put up here, but you can also, if we change it down here, it will change the global one, right? So it kind of works either way. Um, I believe we were sort of in an F type key here. Um, and if I hit a wrong note, like maybe this note here, I accidentally flubbed it up. So let's take a listen, turn off the metronome. Okay, so I hit one wrong note. Um, then I can use an F major scale and um, hit over here in my pitch and time utilities, the fit to scale button. And you'll notice that that one note, so here I'm gonna undo it. You'll notice that that one note just kind of shifted down. Um, to help fit it into the key. So here we go. It just corrected my playing. Nice. All right, so if you are trying to record things live and you accidentally hit some wrong notes, that can be a great way, especially if you know the key you're playing in, to just kind of quickly um, uh, polish up your playing. On the other hand, we can also use this in a creative way to like switch keys afterwards. Right, so let's change this here to F minor and then we'll hit fit to scale again. Cool, so may or may not be what I'm going for. Pretty fun to just mess around and see what happens. Let's try another one. So I'm gonna pick G, which is an entirely different key, right? And let's go with um, like Lydian. Uh, Lydian is one of our modes. We've got all the modes here and let's hit fit to scale. Ooh, that's vibey. I'm just gonna move this up just to change that last chord so they're not exactly the same, but otherwise I think I like it. Let's try one more so we can go to, I don't know, let's try, um, let's stick in G, but let's try like minor pentatonic and fit to scale. Awesome, so just by fitting it to different scales, I'm basically having the computer rewrite chord progressions for me in different styles, different keys, and might get some really cool results that way. Let's take a look at one other element here. Uh, let's go ahead and just add a note. Um, we'll legato it and let's uh, duplicate and just move it up a little bit or something. We have this button here that says add interval. So this is also new. If we are, uh, if scale mode is engaged, then you'll see this right here says zero SD. So SD is uh, scale degrees as opposed to semitones, ST, which we see when scale mode is off. Okay, so um, just a note, that little change there. So we can add maybe two scale degrees on top and then hit add interval again and then maybe again. And it's gonna keep these all in key, which is awesome. And now I've just built two chords just by hitting this add interval button. So cool way to build some quick chords um, using the add interval button uh, with your scale mode engaged. Let's go back to our first clip that we recorded and check out some of the uh, transformation tools that might make use of the um, uh, scale mode. So first of all, arpeggiate. Um, we have a arpeggiate 
uh, section built in now to our clip view. Um, let's go ahead and let's just really quick make this all legato and maybe get rid of some of these areas here where I'm just had some filler notes. And let's take a listen. So if I just start um, adjusting these parameters, we'll start seeing the arpeggiation reflected in our clip here. Let's see, let's do like, I don't know, we can start with 30 second notes. And once again, if scale mode is activated, your distance is gonna be measured in scale degrees. SD instead of semitones, which is really cool because if I take this off, wait, key wise, we're all over the place. If I turn it on, right, we're all in our key of G minor pentatonic, which is pretty awesome. And if we change the distance, yes, we may get some different kind of um, intervals and, and harmonies there, but it's all gonna be in key. The gate is gonna just change the length of the notes. Awesome, so definitely check out that uh, scale feature with your arpeggiator. Let's look at connect. So connect is going to sort of fill in these empty spaces. Um, it's just gonna generate some new notes in that area. So let's start, once again, once I start um, just manipulating these parameters, we'll start seeing it in our clip. So we have the uh, spread, meaning how, um, like, the uh, range of notes that it's gonna pull from, uh, so we can keep it kind of more close to our existing notes or we can spread it wider. Uh, density is gonna add more filler or less. Uh, the rate is gonna determine like the, the uh, note value of these notes that it's adding. Let's change our key back to Lydian here. So pretty cool, just having the computer sort of write things for me, filling in the space there, keeping things in key. Lastly, let's check out this ornament tab. So we're gonna go ahead and add one grace note here. And we can start adjusting the parameters. Uh, let's get back into Lydian. I accidentally undoed us into uh, minor pentatonic again. Here we go. Let's change the position, make our grace note a little bit longer. Nice, that's actually really pretty. We can even add a second grace note here. Let's take the chance down. So that we get a fewer, a couple fewer notes in there. Uh, again, if we turn this off, Right, we'll start getting notes that are more chromatic out of key. So having this on really changes um, how much you can use this. All right, next we're gonna check out just a couple of the MIDI effects and how scale mode has changed how you might use them. So the devices themselves are not new, but the scale mode kind of changes things here. So we're gonna record once again, just a simple, something really simple here. All right, cool. And let's toss on the MIDI chord effect. So we're drag and drop it here. All right, so some great updates to the chord device, which is very exciting in my opinion. <laughs> so as you can see, we have this little symbol here on the device, which means that we can enable scale mode on it, which is really cool. So once again, notice how the ST turns into an SD. So we're doing scale degrees. Um, and so we can work in our chosen scale. So let's go maybe two. You can hear it adding MIDI notes. Maybe four. Let's do like eight. Twelve. Mm. Maybe 
11. And then, so awesome here, there's a built-in strum knob. Yes, thank you. Beautiful. Uh, the tension is gonna affect how that strum sounds. As well as the crescendo. So these can just kind of dial in the strum. So that's really awesome. Um, let's pull on also the random effect here. I'm gonna put it after my chords. We're gonna engage that um, uh, scale mode button on that too. Let's take up the chance. And basically this is just um, making it, uh, any notes that are inputted uh, into the random device, there's a, you know, here, let's change it to 40, 40% chance that they're gonna be changed to something else. Um, let's take our choices down maybe a little bit. Uh, the interval is gonna change the uh, range of notes that are available. So here, let's. So, so cool. Now with this random device, I'm getting completely random generated um, variations on my chords that I built with my chord device. We can go even fewer choices to keep it a little bit more, um, a little tame. If we change the interval, and I put it up to four, now we're hearing that higher note. So this is super cool, kind of like, create some interesting, with this sound that I've chosen, sort of some cinematic type sound. So that's really fun. Um, so MIDI effects, the arpeggiator too, I'm not gonna show this because we already talked about the arpeggiator and the transformation tools, but this also has uh, that option to enable the scale mode and sync it up to your project. So really cool uh, stuff there. The last thing I'm gonna talk about here with scale mode is using it with Meld, um, the new synth in Ableton Live 12. Um, this also comes with the option to enable scale mode, which is super cool for some sound design stuff. So let's check it out. Um, I've got a sound that I designed here. Let's just... Right, so obviously super crazy sound, um, pitch is going all over the place. Um, if I go here and engage this scale uh, mode button here. And then I can change the key. Hira Joshi is really cool. So, kind of an unwieldy sound made very useful by uh, enabling scale mode here. And I did recently create a um, little pack of eight presets uh, for Meld um, designed by me. Uh, that are just available for free on Gumroad, so I can link to that here. A um, couple bass sounds, a couple like weird sound design sounds, some uh, pads and melodic stuff, so definitely check that out um, if you're interested in grabbing some presets for the new synth. I hope that gave you some ideas of how you can use scale mode um, creatively and have a lot of fun with it, um, make things easier for yourself too. So that's really cool. Really glad they added that feature this time around. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have suggestions of other topics you'd like to be covered.